Uh, hey, Dave and Jesse. Uh, okay, you said you wanted some stuff on what's going on. Okay, well, up here you can see that we've got uh, the three buttons, the upshift button, the downshift button, and the neutral button. Um, right now, I don't know what we're going with. I just have the upshift button, the downshift button, and uh, like a fine neutral button, which doesn't necessarily need to be there. You could do a, if you press the upshift and the downshift button at the same time, you could also go into this fine neutral loop. But anyways, uh, we're in simulation mode, so when you press the up here and the upshift button, if you turn it on, uh, you're going to see that that system goes red, and you have the you have the shift cylinder up, and it's going to stay on as long as that cylinder is as long as that button's pressed down, and you have the ignition kill, which happens briefly. Uh, if you pay attention here, I'll hit the button again. You're going to have there you go. You've got about three milliseconds of ignition kill, and then the shift cylinder stays on. There it is again. There it is again. Um, next was the the downshift button, and it worked pretty much on the same principle. Um, except here, you're going to have your shift cylinder down and your clutch. So when you press the button, you've got your clutch on, and then it shifts. Uh, this one's specially set up that if you hold down the downshift button for more than half a second, you're just going to get clutch. So in this point right now, the, the button is depressed, so you're going to be stuck with just your clutch. Uh, but on when you're shifting the car quickly, it'll be, it'll be clutch first for a brief second, and then shift cylinder. So these are all on timers. The, um, the first timer on the, the top left of the picture here is uh, the timer for the shift cylinder. And then the second timer, uh, B26 there, is the timer to uh, let, the, let them know to shut that circuit off after uh, half a second, five milliseconds. And then it just, it'll just leave the clutch on. So there's the shift on, then the shift cylinder turns off, and the clutch stays on. So you can hold the clutch down when you're in first gear. Let's say if you want to do a launch, you can just hold that downshift button down, and you're going to be stuck on the clutch. Uh, the last part is a fine neutral button. It uh, consists of there's your your starting relay. So you just you just depress the fine neutral button. Then it's going to flip that relay. It's going to go down to this first timer. It's a well, it's actually a step sequence thing. You uh, it's going to wait as you can see. It says off four zero two zero six. It's going to wait. Uh, 400 milliseconds. It's going to shift for 400 milliseconds on a downshift. It's going to wait 200 milliseconds and it's going to do this sequence six times. So if you press this button, even if you're in the highest gear, it's going to downshift six times at 400 milliseconds. So it's going to downshift, pause, downshift, pause, downshift, pause, downshift, pause. And then this circuit here is the, the preset counter. It's going to count how many times you do this. And when it's done counting, it's going to go to your timer, and this timer is set up to do the, it runs up to the the shift cylinder up. So I've timed it for a very brief tap on the upshift cylinder. So once you've downshifted your five or six times to get it into neutral, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blip it for, I think, like, I have two, maybe 200 milliseconds. So that's adjustable. You can do anything down to like nanoseconds or whatever. And then it's going to loops back around, resets the counter at the bottom there, resets the relay at the top, and then you can hit the fine neutral button again. Um, I'll show you how that works. So it's counting there on, off, on, off, on, off. And then it resets. So uh, just even a brief tap on the button going to go, there's your shift, and then it resets. So you're going to see it come out of the, the side of the B24 here, and that's going to give you, at the very end of the, the six counts on this one here, then it's going to give you your, your brief up shift. So we'll do it one more time. There it was. You can catch it at the end very briefly, and everything resets. So... That is so far what I've got for the PLC programming. Uh, the PLC is on its way. All the communication cables are on its way. I'm just working on the program. And otherwise, I think we're set. Got the round body cylinders. Uh, have the high pressure air system. 
and I think we're ready to go. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.